Hello and welcome back to your mat. Today's class is a grounding practice. So this is really great for when your energy or you're feeling flighty or you're feeling off, feeling unfocused. And it's also great for the fall time. So we are gonna get started. You might need a couple of blocks for one of the poses we're gonna do. They're not required, not mandatory, but they could come in handy. If you don't have them, don't worry. I'll show you a modification. We'll start with a quote by George Bernard Shaw. Write your sad times in sand and write your good times in stone. Good words of advice. So we're going to start out. I'm going to sit back toward the back edge of my mat. I am sitting, this is the best way to sit on your mat, so go ahead and sit sideways on your mat instead of facing toward the front or the back. And then go ahead and bring both of your feet here, heels to the ground here, knees are bent, and we're going to come over and over, both of them, drop them over to your right hand side. So we're going to go in 90, 90 degree angles here. So adjust yourself here so you have 90 degree angle with your ankles your knees and your hips and sit up nice and tall and you have the option here if you want to make this a little bit more challenging a little bit more work you can keep your hands off the ground throughout this or you can put your hands down so I will show both ways and you will move on your mat a bit while we do this so just watch the first two times or follow along so here we go we're gonna inhale and then we're gonna exhale and go ahead and fold forward over that right foot leg. You can bring your hands down. Like I said, it makes it less challenging this way. If you want to go with a little bit more of a challenge, you can hold yourself up here. So pick that variation that works best for you. And then inhale, and we're going to come back through center. You can bring your hands, keep your hands up if you like, or keep them down. You may have to adjust your stance here a bit and come in 90 degree angles on the left hand side. So again, bring your hands up if you like, or you can bring them down. So inhale, get tall after you got yourself set up and exhale, come forward, and I'll have my hands down for this one. So go ahead and place the hands on the mat. Feel your sit bones, your legs grunting into the mat here. Feel the ground beneath you. And inhale and come up, we're gonna go back over to the other side. So go back to the right-hand side. And again, you might move on your mat, and that's okay. Inhale and exhale, fold over that right leg. You can have your hands down, or bring them up. Inhale, and if you'd like to, no hands, come on over to the left. Adjust the best you can. And do a very good job. Inhale and exhale, fold over that left leg. Let's do twice more. So go and inhale, I'm gonna use my hands this time and bring myself over to the right, back 90 degrees, and come forward and fold over that left, that right leg. Inhale and come back through center. And again, 90 degree angles, and fold over that left leg. Inhale, come up, and instead of going back through center, we're just going to bring that le that right leg, excuse me, right around. We're going to come into a simple seated position here. So let your right leg is crossed in front of your, your left. Sit up tall and really feel your, your seat grounding into the earth here. And then you're going to exhale and fold forward any amount. So this could be here. You might be here. You might be all the way down on your forearms. You're on your forearms. You need to decide what's best for you, but the idea is here to let go and feel all the parts that are connected to the ground, really feel them rooting into the earth. So we're trying to ground down that energy, that energy that sometimes where we just feel so unfocused and flighty and airy and just all over the place. This is going to help bring you back to earth a bit, to bring you, ground you down. Breathe here a few rounds. And inhale and come back up. And all you're going to do is switch the cross of your legs and fold forward again. So the left leg is now in front. Sit up tall again. Feel yourself grounding down into the, to the earth here. Feel it's all as if you had roots growing from your tailbone down. And exhale and fold forward any amount. So find what works best for you. You may be more upright. This is your practice. Do what works best for you. Don't try to do exactly as I am doing. If this doesn't work for you, then stay more upright. Breathe here. A few rounds. Feeling your hands ground into the earth. And on an inhale, come all the way back up. And now we're going to come into 
quick downward facing dog. So just go ahead and come to all fours, plant your hands, tuck your toes, and reach your seat up toward the sky, toward the ceiling. Stretch back into a nice little down dog. And again, notice all the points that are caught in contact with the earth right now. Your, your hands, your feet. Take an inhale there. Exhale, sigh that all out. Come down to your knees. And here's where you may need the block. So if you have them, go ahead and grab them and put them at toward the front of your mat. And we're going to step the left foot forward. And we're going to come into dragon pose. And it is a little bit intense. I will warn you now. So find what works for you. Back out if you need to. We won't stay here long. So bring that left foot forward. You're going to bring it all the way to the left edge of your mat as far over as you can. And I also sometimes like turn mine out about a 45 degree angle. So my foot can be at a 45 degree angle here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stretch forward here. So if you find this is not working for you, first, if you don't have blocks, I'll show you without blocks. You're going to have both of your, hand, your hands on the inside of your left foot as such. So we're not going to be framing the foot. If you have blocks, this is great because it can help bring the floor up to you and any amount that you might need. So if you need to stand more upright, go for that. But what you're trying to do here is really sink deep into that hip. You really should feel it right here. And this is, this is a very intense pose. So back off any amount that you need to. So if you don't have blocks, you can stay right here. You can also have, you can bend out this left knee out to the side a bit if you like. Whatever makes this more, pose more accessible. If you have blocks and you would like to come down a little bit further and you may be saying there is no way, then don't worry about that. But for those who would like to, can come out on your forearms on the blocks. And over time, and especially if you do a longer class where you're a little bit more open, you might even be able to get your forearms down to the ground. Don't worry if you can't do that. That's not even, no worries there. So just pick where you need to be and just stay here for a moment. You can walk back and forth a little bit. But again, feel all the points that are touching the, the mat right now. So my right knee, my right leg, my right foot, both of my hands, the, the sole of my left foot. And you'll really feel, it, feel those hips dipping down toward the, the ground. And breathe here. It's really important to breathe here. Take another breath there. And then go ahead and release back into a nice down dog. And that should feel really nice. And Sometimes you may think, town dog doesn't feel that great, but right now it will feel really good. So go ahead and stretch back. Pedal out your legs if you need to. That is an intense pose, but it's a really wonderful hip opener. Works on the hip flexors. Grounds your energy. Gives you a little bit of fire. And then go ahead and come down onto your knees. And you guessed it. We're going to go to the other side. So go ahead and step that right foot forward. Smile, it always helps here. And go ahead and bring that right foot over to the right edge of your mat and turn it out to about 45 degrees if, if, you, if you'd like to. And then stretch that left leg back, untuck those toes. You can, both your hands will be on the inside of your right leg and you can stay right here. You don't have to go any further down if that's not working for you. And you can also kind of bend this knee out a little bit if you'd like, but you really want to just sink low into that hip, that, especially that left hip. So find what is good for you here. Try not to do this. Try not to be rounded and, and and you want to be more open here if you can. Now, if you're coming down on the blocks, this is where you could be a little bit more hanging. But again, try not to have that back rounded. You want to be more almost like you're doing a, a cobra pose. So you're bringing your back, your chest forward and your, and your head up a bit. But you, again, here you can hang a bit. You just don't want to be rounding in too much. So you want to find what works for you. This is, again, an intense pose. You've got to breathe through it. I highly suggest smiling. And just let everything go. Feel. If you have pain, come out of the pose. If you have a sensation, stay through that and breathe into that sensation. That's really important to breathe in to those sensations instead of, Wondering when it's going to be done. It's going to be done here very soon, I promise. So breathe. One more inhale. And then go ahead, exhale. 
out of that and back into a nice brief down dog here just to stretch all of that out. I know that's intense, but man, you should definitely feel a little bit more open in those hips and the hip flexors. And come down to your knees. And now we're just going to sit back on our heels, or you can sit on a block if you have a block nearby, or a pillow, or a blanket, or whatever you may have. Just for a moment, just sit here and notice yourself grounding into the earth again, into that mat. So wherever you may be sitting, whether it's on blocks or on your heels, just notice for a moment. Feel yourself. Breathe in and out. And then from here, we're going to I'm moving back a bit here because we're going to actually come into child's pose. So you have options here on child's pose. You can keep your knees together and just bring your forehead toward the ground or to a, a, a block or a pillow and bring your hands around to reach for your feet. That is one option for child's pose. Some people that doesn't work very well. So if it doesn't work for you and you prefer the wide knee child's pose and your arms outstretched, you can do that too. So again, pick the child's pose variation that works for you. And while you're in this pose, again, feel all the points of contact that are in the mat. Feel yourself grounding into your mat and feel as if there are roots growing from all of those points of contact into the ground, into the earth, rooting you down into this moment. And inhale and come all the way back up. And now we're just going to slide our legs forward in front of us. Go ahead and bend that right knee. Bring that right, the right sole of your foot into the left thigh here of your left foot. Left thigh. Right sole of your foot into your left thigh. We'll get Inhale. Get tall. You can bring your arms up overhead if you like. And then you can exhale any amount. So if you are really tight, this might be it for you. That's fine. Or if you're really tight, you might just want to stay here. Keep this left foot flexed as best you can. So you can get a nice stretch there. Again, come forward any amount. I'm a bit tighter today, so I'm going to stay more upright. But if you have the flexibility and you feel like that you can do it, go ahead and go forward any amount that you'd like. You can also use a strap here if you like to strap that on your foot. But I try to keep these classes as prop free or as little props as possible just to make it easy on you. Breathe here, and again, feel yourself grounding down into the mat. Inhale, come back up, and we'll switch to the other side. So go ahead and stretch that right leg out. And now bend that left leg in, left sole of your foot to the right of the thigh. Inhale, get tall, reach up toward the sky, and stretch forward any amount that works for you. So find that place for you. It could be upright. It could be a little bit of a bend. It could be further. Try to keep this right foot flexed. So it'll help give you that nice hamstring stretch. Another inhale and exhale. And then come all the way back up. And now we'll come what? To Lie on our backs. So for this one, we're going to do half happy baby, and we're going to start stretching the, le the right leg all the way out long on our mat, and we're going to bring that left leg into half happy baby. Now, if you find this a little bit more challenging, you can always bend the right leg. So decide what's going to work for you. Grab a hold of the sole of your foot, your ankle, behind your knee, wherever works for you for happy baby, half, half happy baby. So we're just doing one leg here, one the left leg. Sole of your left foot is pointed up. Breathe here, in and out through the nose. Pull that leg down. Again, you could have this right leg bent if that's better for you. Again, and as I keep saying over and over, and I, and I really hope that it's hitting home, you have to work with the body you have and you have to listen to what your body says. So don't, it doesn't help you to have this leg straight if that's bothering you. Bend the knee. You're still going to get a nice stretch. And then we're going to come into a nice twist. So just bring that left leg over to the right and your left arm out to the left and look over to your left. Breathe here and releasing the lower back there. 
spine. Feel your body sinking into the mat. Inhale and come back up. Hug that left knee into your chest for a moment. And then go ahead and stretch that one long on the mat. And then the same thing. Now we're going to bring that right knee in to happy baby, half happy baby. So grab the hold of the bottom of the sole of the right foot, the right ankle, behind the knee, whatever is working for you today. And again, if this doesn't work to have your left leg straight, bend it. You'll still get a nice stretch. Trust me. Breathe here and let yourself just sink into the mat like you weigh, you know, I don't know, a ton. You just feel really heavy and sinking heavy into the mat. Another breath here. And then go ahead and bring that right leg across you to the left. And now we're going to bring the, the right arm out to the right and twist. Open it up and look into the right hand side here. and you feel like your energy is off and you're unfocused and you're flighty, then sometimes you need to do the opposite of that. So bring yourself ground, ground yourself down, bring that energy down a bit. Do some poses that are low to the ground is one great way to help refocus the mind. There's lots of ways, but that's one way. Inhale and come back up. Go ahead and bring that right knee into your chest. Go ahead and bring the other knee too. Let's go ahead and give it a nice squeeze here and then stretch your legs out long on the mat. For those of you that have time for Shavasana, I highly recommend stretching your legs out, your arms out long on the mat. I highly recommend if you have the time to go ahead and just stay in Shavasana for at least a few minutes. For those that don't have the time, go ahead and roll over. If you have the time, stay there. We'll go ahead and prop ourselves back up. So again, if you have the time, stay there. Let yourself go into the mat. Let the effects of your practice wash over you. For the rest of you that need to get on with your day, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful. I hope it helped ground your energy. And until next time, thanks again.